There is a twist this morning in the alleged sexual assault case involving members of the U.S. Naval Academy. Two former Navy football players will now face a court martial. David Martin shows us why now not everyone agrees with the decision to prosecute. Midshipman Joshua Tate will face court martial for aggravated sexual assault. Midshipman Eric Graham for abusive sexual contact. Vice Admiral Mike Miller, the superintendent of the Naval Academy, ordered the court martial despite a recommendation from the investigating officer that charges be dropped. Jason Ehrenberg is Joshua Tate's attorney. There was a nine, basically a nine day hearing uh, with over 20 witnesses and hundreds of pages of evidence. And after hearing all of that, uh, the investigating officer recommended against it going to a court martial. A paragraph of the investigator's report provided to CBS News says, I find that the heavy damage done to the accuser's credibility greatly erodes the strength of her testimony about what she remembers does not remember. Susan Berg, who represents the accuser, dismissed the report as meaningless. There's going to be a, a court martial. There will be a jury listening to the evidence. There will be a a uh, military judge presiding, so the investigating officer report is a dead letter. The young woman herself told Jeff Glor earlier this year she has very little recollection of what happened that night. I was drinking. I had drank a lot. Um, and then um, from that point on, I really don't remember what happened. In attacking her credibility, the defense asked humiliating questions about her sex life. The defense attorneys wanted to exhaust and embarrass this young woman to such a degree that she would quit. The court martial is expected to begin later this year, but the investigating officer warned it is unlikely either of the two midshipmen will be convicted. For CBS This Morning, this is David Martin at the Pentagon.